hey, hey, come here. Oh, she's coming. Come. Oh, everybody wants to see you, baby. Are you tired? You have a hard life, don't you? Isn't she sweet? Isn't she so sweet? Look at you, so pretty girl. You want to try see? Ooh! <laughs> Today, we are talking about sex. And before I get started, let me just begin this by saying if you're younger and this whole topic kind of makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable, um, you don't have to watch this video. Like, I don't want anybody to feel weirded out or whatever. I know some people can kind of feel uncomfortable with this. Uh, or if you want to go grab one of your parents or something, that's totally fine. Like, I just don't want anyone to feel weird. Like, that's not what this is about. This is not going to be like a super risque video or anything. I've had a whole lot of requests to do a follow-up video to the I hate having sex video that I did maybe a week ago or two weeks ago. I don't know. I will link that below, actually, so that you can go watch that one first. And that's what I would just tell you to do. Like, go watch that first so you're kind of up to date and you're like, okay, now I'm on the same page. Because what I'm talking about in this video is not so much of every single reason why people hate having sex. There's millions of reasons why people would uh, hate having sex. But in that video, I basically said one of the reasons why people can get to that point is because of their diet, their lifestyle, their exercise routine, that type of thing. And we just kind of go through and talk about how caloric restriction, over-exercise, like either or or both of them together can cause over time a lot of hormonal disruptions uh, which leads you to a decreased sex drive. So um, I had a lot of requests to do a follow-up basically saying well okay how do I get my sex drive back? So I got an interesting uh, email from a lady and um, guys this is very serious like it's um, this isn't really something that I, I, I would really encourage you to really just think through this because this is a married woman and uh, she decided to start doing a lot of dieting. She was on Instagram and she saw these transformation pictures and she decided to start doing a bunch of dieting. She decided to start counting her calories. She decided to really up her exercise routine. And in the meantime, after, uh, according to her, it was only three months. After about three months, she started noticing that number one, she wasn't getting her period, but number two, she also uh, just lost interest for sex, like altogether. It wasn't that she was um, not attracted to her husband. It wasn't that they weren't getting along. It was literally just like, I just have no sex drive at all. And it's really like messing up their marriage and it's really causing a lot of problems for them to the point to where like they haven't had sex and like, months and months and months and you know sex is a very important part of marriage okay like huge i just say all of that just to kind of point out that this is a really big deal and so here's basically all you have to do okay this isn't going to be like a 30 minute video of telling you to go buy this supplement and to go take these injections or whatever literally what you do is first of all you have to go to the root cause. You go all the way back to the beginning of when all of this started, okay? When you started dieting, when you started over-exercising, when you started taking diet pills or laxatives or purging or whatever you've been through, okay? And regardless of how long it's been, maybe it's been a few months, a few weeks, or 20 years, it doesn't matter, but basically what you're going to do is the exact opposite of what you did okay so if you started purging you're going to stop purging if you started restricting your calories you're going to stop restricting your calories if you started exercising a whole lot you're going to stop exercising a whole lot essentially all you're going to do is you're going to go back to the normal person that you were before and get your body and your mind in a place of healing. That is what it needs. A lot of people will start taking all types of herbal supplements and they'll start taking like hormone injections and patches and creams and pills and all kinds of stuff thinking I can just, you know, keep this body, keep these abs, keep this weight um, that I wanna be at 
but they kind of want to sidestep the major issue at hand, the elephant in the room. And the thing is, you can't do that. Like, I mean, you can try, but you're really not addressing the major problem that's going on. The major problem is you and it's your mind and it's the way that you are looking at yourself, you're looking at life, you're looking at your body and that's what has to be addressed. And not only that, but you have to address the fact of all the damage and abuse your body has been through, okay? And not just your body, but also your mind. I really wanna stress both of those. those. They go hand in hand. A lot of people think, well, I'll just fix my body. Like I'll recover, I'll gain weight, I'll do all this. But that doesn't mean that your mind is necessarily fixed. You see what I'm saying? You basically, for most of you, like I don't know your particular situation, but for most of you, what it's going to mean is you're just gonna need to eat a lot of food and you're gonna need a lot of rest, okay? Now, here's the thing about the time frame because everybody wants to know, well, how soon? You know, it's been months. Like, I finally gained up to a healthy weight or I'm overweight now or I've stopped exercise for six months or I've tried all of these different things. Like, when is it going to happen basically is the question. And the answer is, I can't tell you that. Like, I don't know when it's going to happen for you. I can say though, based off of my last video, I talked about the Minnesota starvation experiment and how those guys lost their sex drive. Um, and in the follow-up interviews of that experiment, a lot of the guys said that even a year after their recovery phase, um, they went, you know, they had this like unrestricted rehabilitation phase where they were able to eat as much food as they want. Some of them were eating over 10,000 calories a day. Uh, they went through that and basically once they had gained back up to their original weight, so let's say they started at 200 pounds, they lost down to 150 pounds, then they, uh, you know, through the restriction period or whatever, then they started to recover and they gained up to 200 and most of them gained 10% over their original starting weight, which is necessary, it's needed for healing and for proper cellular function, proper hormonal function, it's a survival technique that your body will do they gained up to like, I mean, I'm, not, I'm just using this as an example, but from 200 to 150 up to 220. Even after a few months of that rehabilitation and even a little up to a year, they weren't still, they still didn't have their sex drive back the way that they originally had before they went through the starvation thing. Now, as time went on, yes, they got it back, but I just share that with you just to say, it can take a while. I'm not going to say it's going to take a year or over. It, it could though, is what I'm saying. So if you're only doing this for a few weeks, it's been two months, it's been six months, and you know, you're trying to figure out like, when am I going to get my sex drop back? Like what's going on? Realize your body has been through so much and it is just like craving healing. It's craving rest. It's craving calories. That's what it's wanting. And it's like I said in that first video, if you want kind of a good marker for yourself of where you fall on all of this, you have to understand these guys in this experiment, they only went through a semi-starvation period for three months. That's it, okay? They did it for three months. They ate around 1,600 calories a day, and they were only required to walk three extra miles a day around, okay, it was 22 miles a week. Okay, so ask yourself this, how long have you been doing what you've been doing to your body? How long have you been over exercising? How long have you been restricting your calories? How long have you been doing macro counting? How long have you been uh, having really low um, carbohydrate intake? How long have you been purging? How long have you been using laxatives and diuretics and enemas and colonics and cleanses and detox and herbal teas and diet pills, all that stuff. How long have you been doing that? Because my guess is it has been longer than three months, okay? If you're really honest with yourself. The second question is how much have you been eating during that time, okay? And not just how much have you been eating, but how much have, like what type of diet have you tried to do? Has it been a low calorie, low carb? Like what are you doing? What but I mean, how much have you been eating? For them, they were eating around 1600 calories a day, depending on the guy. For you, I'm gonna guess it's probably not like that, you know? I've been eating 1800 calories a day and the same thing happened to me. That's fine, but what you have to understand is that caloric needs 
vary based off of your age, your gender, your activity level, um, you know, ton, like everything that's going on in your life is what determines your caloric needs, okay? So for a growing girl or a growing guy who's in their teens going through puberty, they're literally physically growing and their hormones are physically changing, they're going to need a whole lot more calories than an 85 year old grandma who sits on her couch and knits all day long. 1800 calories for you as an active young adult uh, who is growing and maturing and all that stuff is not gonna be enough food, okay? Um, and the third question is you take that and you couple it with how much exercise are you doing or have you been doing? Okay, so those three things, how long, how much have you been eating, and how much you've been exercising? Because these guys, they lost their sex drive and it was gone for almost over a year. Like that's how long it took them to get it back. And all they were doing was eating 1600 calories a day, walking three miles a day, and they only did this for three months. So if I had to guess, you've probably done it for longer than three months. You've probably limited your calories to God knows how low, 800, 1,000, 1,200, 1,500, whatever. Depending on your age too, you're going to need more calories. And on top of that, I can guarantee you, your exercise has not been just three miles of walking a day, okay? I can guarantee you. You've probably been doing some type of crazy high intensity interval, like whatever you're doing, like endurance stuff, just pounding it, pounding it, pounding it, hours at the gym, hours training and doing all this kind of stuff and then you wonder like why is it taking me so long to get my sex drive back well look at what your body has been through that's the whole thing and don't forget that and don't don't start blaming the recovery process for this for what it's gonna do to you okay i see this happen a lot a lot of people get really really pissed off when they start letting their body heal and they start gaining weight because their body needs to gain weight. And it's like, this doesn't work. What the crap? Like this is, you know, she told me to do that or he told me to do that. And now I'm just like fat now and all that stuff. And it's like, dude, let's go back to the beginning here. What was going on beforehand? Okay. Like what were you doing for all those months? What were you eating? How much were you exercising? Like that's the, what you have to be honest with yourself about. I would sit down. I would have a little come to Jesus meeting with yourself and I would get out a piece of paper and a pen. And the reason why I say do this is because seeing this visually is going to literally like just open up your eyes to the reality of your situation. Get out a piece of paper and a pen and I want you to write down, how, depending on how old you are, go back however many years you have to and write down all the things that you did. Write down the first diet you went on. How long did you do it? How much were you eating? What exercise were you doing with that? And go year by year by year and you will visually see, oh my gosh. Because we forget, we forget what we put ourselves through. We forget the past. We want quick fixes right now. We forget five years ago, I started throwing up and then I felt really bad about it and I stopped, but then I started gaining weight. So then I wanted to start restricting so I went on this really low carbohydrate diet and I started exercising more and then I did it and it's just like, you forget all of that. So write it down. You'll visually see, wow, the abuse that I've put my body through. No freaking wonder I am in this predicament right now. Like no wonder. And once you compare that, once you compare your giant list, cause I guarantee you it's gonna be a long one. You compare that with the, this Minnesota starvation experiment, again, I'm just using that because it's the only long-standing like experiment that we have, basically. Once you compare your list with the fact that they just did it for three months, and by the way, none of them ever had any prior disordered eating or over-exercise or anything like that that we know of, but literally it was a controlled study for three months, 1,600 calories, three miles of walking a day, and it took them over a year for some of them to get their sex drive back you will start to see why you have your problem, okay? And then start letting your body heal. Start eating, start resting, stop throwing up. Lucy, it's okay, baby. Uh, and just let your body heal. That's what you need to do. And it's going to take time. 
There is no quick fix. There is no magic potion. There is no special pill. There is no herbal supplement. I mean, you can try all of that stuff, but that's still not addressing the main root cause. Lucy's having a fit right now. So um, that's that. That is that. I hope that that's helpful. It's going to probably be a long process for some of you, but again, baby, please. Again, it's worth it. It is worth it. I can promise you. What foods do you eat? Whole plant foods. Fruits and vegetables and starches and beans and whole grains. Uh, the more the better. Like, focus on those. Eat till you're satisfied. Stop when you're full. Start filling your life with things that you love. Get outside. Get some sunlight. Get a lot of sleep. Just take a break on things. De-stress. Enjoy your life. That's it. And it'll happen. I promise you. So, hope that's helpful. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.